Hello again, Starberry Cubs. Welcome to the reading for today, Messages from Spirit. We are going to start by pulling the overall energies. Let's see what Spirit has for us today. We have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And we have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Wow. <laughs> Both of these cards have swirly, blurry spirals. Isn't that interesting? And what I get from the mandalas on these cards is that when we are so engrossed, surrounded by guilt and feeling of failure, it's hard to see things clearly when we are seeing through that lens, isn't it? So there's some pretty heavy emotions here that we're being asked to look at right off the bat. Now from the Moonology deck. We have adjustments are required. Bring love into the situation. Interesting, both of these cards have the same color tones. Deep purple and black. Purple being the color of the crown chakra. Connection to spirit. So, yeah, in a situation where there's feelings of failure and feelings of guilt, love is always needed to sort of set things back in balance to adjust the situation that is clearly not in balance. And it's interesting, if you look at this picture of the Aquarius woman, <laughs> and you see there's this sort of blurry, splashy spiral, and it's very reminiscent of the blurry the blurry, splashy spiral that we see here. So it's like she's literally pouring love into a current situation that you are experiencing in your life. That involves the feelings of failure or guilt or both. So you're being called to release that. Or do whatever it need do whatever is needed to make adjustments to balance things out again. Observer. We have a cute little fox watching the moon through his telescope. Or her. His or her. And if you look very closely in the moon is the face of the oracle. The moon is the unknown, um, but it's also our inner knowing, our intuition. Things that we do know within our hearts, but might, they may be so subconscious we aren't aware of them, but this card particularly is about stepping back, seeing the bigger picture and observing as in a detached manner, observing a situation in a detached manner. It's often easier to make adjustments to a situation and to bring love into a situation when you're impartial, when you're not guided and blinded by your emotions, your um, negative, unpleasant emotions. So you're being invited to be an observer in the situation. And I'm just going to read the 
from the book for that card. And the essential meanings of the observer card. Perspective. Objectivity. Neutral observation from a distance. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences. So much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring instead of only considering yourself. Consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture, and environment you're engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. And it's interesting because depending on your vision, when you look too closely at something, it becomes blurry. Or even if something is, is uh, too far away. So but in this case you're being invited to step back and see things a little bit more clearly so that you can be an impartial observer to make the adjustments that are required to your situation and bring love into the situation. So now we're going to go into the tarot part to get a little bit more details on the situation. And what I'm going to do is create three piles here. You, as you are now, the middle pile will be the challenges and obstacles, and the last pile will be advice from spirit or from your higher guidance. Now, in this good tarot deck, there are no reversals, so we are not going to be doing reversals. So there are our three cards here. So we have Nine of Fire, which is you right now, which is also Nine of, wa nine of Wands in the traditional deck. This is sort of a proceed with caution kind of card. Um, it is about being defensive defending what you believe, defending yourself. Um, perhaps out of guilt you are feeling the need to explain your side and maybe you're not seeing the other person's side. See how she's holding a lantern of stars. She's trying to shed light on the situation. So whether that means you're trying so hard to make somebody to understand your side of something because you feel guilty or whether you need to shed light on the other person's side. Maybe somebody else in your life feels guilty about something or they feel like a failure. But it's also about proceeding with caution. So listening, but having your defenses up and defending what you believe is true. Defending yourself, defending what you believe, defending something you're doing. So that's sort of the general idea of you right now. And your current challenges or obstacles are strength. And the strength card is self-love, unconditional love, and being fearless. Knowing who you are so firmly that you aren't afraid. Being connected to your, your heart, your inner being, your higher guidance, your higher self. One way I look at this card is that the lion is like her power animal, spirit animal, spirit guide, and they are one with each other. She's connected to her lion. She's connected to her guide, her higher spirit. They are in tune with each other. Where she goes, he goes. Where he goes, she goes. In other decks, she is depicted as calmly opening the lion's mouth and fully trusts him, even though he's much stronger than her. So this being a challenge or an obstacle for you, 
you're having trouble embracing that confidence and fearlessness, that love for yourself, that deep self-love, unconditional love, and also being a bit fearful about something, about something that you feel you failed in or perhaps uh, an endeavor or a project or something you did that you fear is a failure. Um, something that you feel guilty about. You're having trouble letting that go. Perhaps you are overcome with fear for the consequences of whatever it is that you feel the need to defend. So because you are lacking confidence in who you are and what you believe, you're feeling very defensive. You don't trust that you will be supported. You're in it too deep. And for your advice from Spirit or your higher guidance, we have the Justice card with the number 11, which is a very auspicious angelic number representing two pillars, balance, fairness, equality. She is the one who brings adjustments to a situation, brings in clarity and truth so that you can see things from an impartial perspective, be an observer. Um, this, uh, this card can be seen as like karma, the bringing of the results of whatever it is you've done, what goes around comes around sort of thing, but not in an ominous way. It's really a beautiful idea that balance, balance is always good. So if you're feeling too much guilt, find a way to release the beliefs that you have that no longer assist you. And if it's an overwhelming feeling of failure, try to look at it a different way through the eyes of the casual, impartial observer and understand that it, it was an opportunity to learn. Ask yourself what you can learn about that. So Spirit is advising you to find a way to gain balance back into your life. Now looking at the Justice card, she's carrying the scales of justice. And the understanding of the scales is there would be a feather on one side and your heart placed on the other. And if your heart is being weighed down by too many things, guilt or feelings of failure or fear, lack of love for yourself, um, being overly cautious or paranoid, um, then the heart will weigh heavier than the feather. And the goal is for your heart to be as light as a feather. And what makes a heart heavier than a feather is to have all of these negative things inside of it, weighing it down, which is probably where the, the expression heavy-hearted comes from. So if we have the scales of justice, we need to bring love into the situation or in other words, take away what's making the heart heavy to adjust the situation, to make it balanced again so that your heart is as light as a feather. So to summarize, there's a situation that you are too close to that has made you feel like a failure or made you feel guilty. And it's made it hard for you to see how to move forward or how to see the situation clearly. But it's very, very unbalanced right now because there isn't enough love in the situation. There isn't enough balance. And so you're being invited to take a step back and observe the situation impartially as if, as, la as Lady Justice would, and to make some adjustments to the scale adjustments to how you 
see the situation. And rather than being so focused on defending your idea to other people and worrying what other people think and making sure that they see things how you see things and trying to shed light on it. Instead focusing inward and, and strengthening your love for yourself and finding that balance within yourself and being confident in who you are and what you are doing. And to close, I will just see what comes out of the Crystal Spirit deck. Again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest for other people. It might not make sense right now, but perhaps it will be helpful in a month or two from now. But only you can truly know whether this is your story or a part of your story, and whether this is helpful in any way to bring clarity. We're just going to close the reading, see what we get as advice or a nice concise summary. We get Smithsonite. I'm just going to read from the book. Sorry, my camera just stopped there. <laughs> we'll try this again. So we have Smith's Night for our closing message. And the essential meanings are rebirth from chaos, evolution, stress relief, emotional boost, clearing of obstacles to growth. From here to there can be a rocky road, one that may even seem to move under your feet as you engage in a process of healing with roiling emotions. The journey can be confusing and unsettling and cause you to want to beat a hasty retreat. But Smith's Night Spirit's message is clear as can be. You are haltingly moving forward into creating something new. If you feel as if you're unsteady and even going a little backwards at times, it's only because you are being asked to look to the past and the lessons learned so that your next steps can be sure and steady. The ground is firm beneath you, the wind is at your back, and the conscious universe is beside you, so there's no need to look for what may seem to be safer ground. The landscape around you is changing. You are changing. Soon you will feel much more settled if you heed the call of Smith's Night Spirit and trust that you'll be just fine. So breathe. It's all going to resolve soon and the obstacles you find daunting will disappear. Wow. So it would seem right now that your obstacles are these deep feelings of failure and guilt and an absence of love and being too too involved or being too close to the situation. We'll take one more. You have selenite. Liquid light, fluidity, flexibility, illumination, and clarity raising your vibration. When Selenite Spirit appears, this message to you is to keep moving past your challenges. Your sight's always on raising your vibration, to be like liquid light, illuminating, fluid, and flexible. For even the earth and her rocks, stones, and crystals change and reveal more of themselves over time. Selenite Spirit's message is that whatever the pace of change, you must yield your expectations about how things should be so that you can discover the beauty in how things are evolving. Like liquid light flowing around an obstacle, you have the capacity to move more freely than you might realize. Know that a new perspective can help you see that. And a newer perspective you would gain, of course, by seeing things from a greater perspective. And you would gain a new perspective by sort of standing back and seeing the broader, far away view of things. You don't even have to be stopped in your tracks. Be flexible in your thinking, for there is more wisdom in the universal consciousness than in your own individual mind, and it is always available to you. 
The way out of old patterns is to enter the unknown without maps or well-defined familiar paths. Surrender your fear and know that the conscious universe is here to provide you with clarity and guide you through unexpected twists and turns. And that's beautiful because, again, I see the lion as being your inner guidance, your guide to, to lead you through the blurry, confusing place of these negative feelings that are just bringing you down. The neat thing about this card as well, the selenite crystal is a crystal that cleanses all the other crystals around it. So it's just, it's a purifying stone that makes everything clean again. So taking the negative energies from something, from a situation, and transmuting it into positive energy, into clear light again. And I would like to just take one final encouraging message from the Archangel Michael deck by Doreen Virtue. All right, from the Archangel Michael deck, we have Be Gentle with Yourself. Wow. Archangel Michael, please guide me. And treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Wow! So this is a wonderful affirmation of this card, releasing beliefs that hinder your soul's growth. One of those being guilt. And this card specifically is asking Archangel Michael to, or any higher guidance that you would like to pray to, to release those feelings of guilt so that you may experience lasting inner peace. Wow, and peace comes from balance. We also have, you're on the right path. Wow, so even though you might be feeling like a failure, feeling guilty about something that you feel that failed. You're on the right path, whatever you're doing, because anything that's worth doing, any path that's worth taking, there will be twists and turns, there will be challenges. And so the prayer on this card is, Archangel, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance. Again, there's that guidance, the higher guidance. Um, Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. And that's really funny because the next card that, I, that came out was Have Confidence. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude to help me realize that I am one with all, the divine, with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Wow, and that's also what the strength card is about. So these are some great tie-ins to the whole message that we received today. So that's the messages from Spirit. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day. Love and light to you.